Hello again, everyone. Welcome to Washington Gun Law TV. I am Washington Gun Law President William Kirk. Thanks for joining us. This is going to be a video for the hometown crowd. We are getting close to D-Day, where if a bill does not get out of its house of origin, it is dead. We have been tracking every single piece of civilian disarmament legislation. It appears that there is really only a strong possibility that four bills are going to continue on. We're going to get you up to speed on where each one of those sits right now so that you can understand where we're going to have to turn our energy to start fighting some of this insanity that has been coming out of Olympia for years now. So today, let's get you all up to speed and let's talk about urgent updates from Olympia about your gun rights. Okay, Washington, here we go. We started with a whole ton of bills, way too many to keep track, especially when you considered all the companion bills that they had in the opposite house. It appears now that we are down to four bills that might actually make it through the first house and therefore are, will still be alive and with a chance to make it to the governor's desk. There are two that I'm somewhat ambivalent about. There's one that I'm not really concerned about because I'm a CPL holder and if you're a CPL holder, not gonna be that big of a deal to you. And then the fourth one is the one that we've already done this video on right here, which scares the living hell out of me. And if you're in the FFL industry or if you rely upon the FFL industry, which is all of us, we all should be scared as hell. The bills are as follows. House Bill 2021. This is new provisions related to what happens with guns that are purchased via gun buybacks from local police departments. It's a pretty innocuous piece of legislation. We have not really covered it on Washington gun law here because candidly we think our resources would be spent better elsewhere. It has been pulled from rules too. It is sitting on for a second reading, which means it is literally sitting right off the launching pad. We expect House Bill 2021 to pass out of the House in the next 24 to 48 hours. Hours. House Bill 1903. This was set up a new civil penalty if you neglect to report a stolen firearm. There is a civil fine of up to $1,000 if you neglect to do it. Interestingly enough, Washington State Storage Provision 941-360 requires you to do it within five days. So we'll just let Liz Berry, I guess, reconcile all of that. That too has been pulled from rules. It is now set for second reading, which means it is sitting just off the launching pad. Again, it's a piece of legislation that, do I think it's gonna solve anything? Absolutely not. It's a solution still looking for a problem. Does it significantly infringe upon your rights like most pieces of Liz Berry legislation? No, this one does not. Once again, that is House Bill 1903. Okay, Senate Bill 5444 is the one Senate bill we're gonna talk about. This had a bunch of new sensitive places which also included public transportation. And candidly, if you live in the Puget Sound region, the last place that you should ever be disarmed is actually on public transportation. The one piece of good news is there has been an amendment that was accepted in the Senate, which now would exempt all concealed pistol license holders from any of these new sensitive places. We'll go ahead and link the legislation up down below so that you can geek out on it for yourself if it does make it out of the Senate, which again, this has been pulled from Ways and Means and is now sitting on for a second reading. So just off the launching pad, that is Senate Bill 5444. And then finally, our coup de grace, our, oh my God, the Death Star piece of legislation this year. And of course, that is House Bill 2118, the most George Orwellian, dystopian, absolutely ridiculous piece of legislation, absolutely, positively, without a doubt, designed to drive every single FFL out of business. If you don't know what we're talking about, check out this video right here. You might want to grab a barf bag when you do it. However, that too has been pulled from rules and is now sitting on for second reading, which means this is likely to pass in the next 24 to 48 hours. Now, this is the one piece of legislation I keep circling because I've talked to enough FLs to know that this is absolutely complete demolition of this industry. So, there is still chance to stop this, but it's gonna probably have to be stopped in the Senate. So we're gonna link up down below how you guys can contact your state legislator. We're also gonna link up down below so you guys know how to follow the conservative ladies of Washington's Legislative Action Center so you can stay on top of it. But folks, we need all of your help right now. House Bill 2118 is the death star to the FFL industry. We need everybody to throw in on this right now. 
There are a couple of amendments that are being kicked around. We're not even gonna discuss those because candidly, the only way that you can make this bill better is to absolutely throw it in the trash can. Okay, so that's where we sit. Once again, the bills we have to watch out for. House Bill 2021, not that bad. House Bill 1903, not that bad. Senate Bill 5444, kind of stupid, so-so. And House Bill 2118, literally the Genghis Khan of legislation. If you guys got any questions about this or anything else related to what's left of our Second Amendment rights, you guys should know how to get a hold of Washington Gun Law by now. If you don't, that's okay. That information is down there in the description box. So is the ability to sign up for the Conservative Ladies of Washington's Legislative Action Center. Now, in the meantime, let's everyone remember that part of being the lawful and responsible gun owner, like we talk about all the time here, is to know what the law is in every situation, how it applies to you in any instance that you may find yourself. Until next time, thanks for watching. Stay safe.